Joanne Miro, born on April 20th, 1993 in Barcelona, Spain, was a renowned Catalan painter, sculptor, and ceramicist. He is celebrated as one of the greatest surrealist artists of the 20th century, known for his innovative and imaginative approach to art. Miro's artistic journey began in Barcelona, where he studied at the School of Industrial and Fine Arts. Initially influenced by Fauvism and Cubism, Miro soon developed his unique style, which blended abstraction, surrealism, and a childlike sense of wonder. His works often feature vibrant colors, organic shapes, and whimsical forms that evoke a sense of playfulness and fantasy. Throughout his career, Miro explored various mediums, including painting, sculpture, ceramics, and printmaking. He believed in the power of art to communicate directly to the viewer's emotions and subconscious. His art often incorporated symbolic and dreamlike elements, with recurring motifs such as stars, birds, moons, and human figures. One of Miro's most iconic series is his Constellations, created between 1939 and 1941 during the tumultuous years of World War II. These works are characterized by a combination of abstract forms and symbols that convey a sense of cosmic energy and optimism in the face of adversity. Miro's Constellations demonstrate his ability to balance the personal and the universal, creating art that is both visually captivating and emotionally resonant. Another notable aspect of Miro's artistic practice is his interest in experimenting with unconventional materials and techniques. He incorporated elements such as sand, tar, and other non-traditional media into his paintings, adding texture and depth to his compositions. Miro's willingness to push the boundaries of traditional art-making processes exemplifies his innovative spirit and desire to constantly challenge artistic norms. Miro's impact extended beyond the canvas, as he also collaborated with other artists, poets, and writers. He worked with surrealist poets such as Andre Breton and Paul Ouard, illustrating their books and participating in the Surrealist Movement's collective projects. Miro's collaborations with poets allowed him to further explore the relationship between image and text, resulting in visually striking and intellectually stimulating works. In addition to his paintings and sculptures, Miro also left a lasting legacy in the realm of public art. His monumental sculptures can be found in various cities around the world, including Barcelona, Chicago, and Paris. These sculptures, often characterized by bold shapes and primary colors, invite viewers to interact with the artwork in a larger, more public setting. Miro's contributions to the art world were widely recognized and celebrated. He received numerous awards and honors throughout his lifetime, including the Guggenheim International Award in 1958 and the Gold Medal of Fine Arts from the Spanish government in 1980. His works continue to be exhibited in prestigious museums and galleries worldwide, captivating audiences with their playful and enigmatic nature. Joanne Miro's art transcends boundaries, inviting viewers to enter a world of imagination and freedom. His ability to blend abstraction, surrealism, and symbolism created a visual language that spoke directly to the emotions and subconscious. Miro's legacy as a pioneering artist lies in his unwavering commitment to artistic experimentation and his ability to capture the essence of the human experience through his innovative and evocative works.